Hi, and welcome back. My name is Amanda. This is Django. He is excited to have you here. Really, he's just sad that I'm recording and talking to you and not hanging out with him. So, he's going to join me in talking about Season-a-thon. So, I don't know if you know about this, but I saw it on Amy's channel at A Star Reads. And so she's going to be a teacher for this upcoming academy season in September, for the month of September. There's a few things that I'm going to be doing, and they're going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to try to explain them as I go. But I'm hoping in September, as I'm doing my actual videos, and you'll see me reading in September, it'll make a lot more sense to you. But I'm going to link down below Amy's video where she talks about block scheduling for her classes, for her reading, readathon classes. And I'm also going to link below the original video where she got this idea from. So it is. It's something that I'm going to try in September, and I feel like it's going to have two advantages. Number one, it's just fun to make a schedule and follow it. I absolutely love that. But number two, I think this is going to slow down my reading. Now, if you've been here at all, at the beginning of the year, I talked about that this was one of the things that I wanted to do was slow down. I read so many books so quickly, it, and, it's, and it is because of the way my brain's made up and my whole situation that I have going on in my brain that just makes me want to get to the end, get to the end of everything, right? Like I need to finish this project. I need to finish it. And I can't do anything else because all I'm thinking about is whatever it is that needs to get finished. And this happens also with reading, especially if there's a readathon or something like that that I'm participating in. So I really think that using this block schedule is going to help me slow down. So I will explain how that's going to work in just a second. But first, let's talk about what this is. So this is the PDF explaining Seasonathon Academy and what it is. And so it's just a note. It was created by Completely Melanie at her her channel is called Completely Melanie. I will link that below as well. But don't worry about these dates because this was from September of last year, okay? So these are the required courses for the first semester of this of this readathon, Seasonathon Academy. So these are the courses. Now, the ones out here, English, math, and then it says select one. And then down here, select one, and then you have to do a foreign language. So it's only five. There's only five classes that you're taking for the semester. So I will explain what I'm picking and how it's going to go, okay? So I'm not going to start with English 1010 because that's literally read anything you want. And so that will make it a little bit easier for me to put whatever I want to put in there. Now, I have already picked my 50 before 50 books, like the, the next 11 books that I want to read. So I'm going to try to get as many of those books onto this thing as I possibly can. So we're going to go ahead down to the math books, and we're going to see what number. Now, what you do is you add the numbers of your birthday together until you have only a single digit. So my birthday is June 11th. 1977. So that's a six plus one plus one plus one plus nine plus seven and seven. Okay, so all together is 32. Then you take the three and the two and add those together and I get five. So it says keep going until you have a single digit. So I have five. So for my math, I have to find a book that ends in five. So it can be, you know, 175. It can be 455. It does not matter. It just has to end in five. So that also is going to be dependent on what I can find. So I'm going to look through my books and see what I can find that ends in five. Okay, we had so many issues and so many problems in my house in between me filming what I what you just saw and this part right here but what I was able to do while I was on the phone with our internet people for one hour and 29 minutes I was able to get all 11 of my books for the 50 before 50 I got all of them into the first semester and the second semester 
requirements. So I'm going to show you what they are, and then we're going to talk about my schedule. So for English 1010, which is literally read any book you want, I am going to be reading Blood Fury for that one. On the math 1010, which we did before, I added everything up and my number was five. I am going to be reading Kingdom of Gods for math. For this one right here, Fine Arts and Humanities, I am going to be doing History 2510. And I'm going to read The Twelve. For the next Fine Arts and Humanities... I am going to be reading Philosophy 2010, and I'm going to read Body of Evidence. And finally, for the Elementary Foreign Language, read a book set in a different country. I'm going to read Hollow of Fear. So, those books are going to be the first two weeks in September following my class schedule. So, let's look at that. Then we'll do the second semester for the next two weeks. It'll, it'll be fantastic. Here we go. So I know this may be a little bit difficult for you guys to look at, but these class times that are all, the everything that's not gray is time that I can be in class, meaning reading whatever these books are. So I have six of these periods. If you count study time and study time and the lunch, the two study times that I have on the weekend and this lunch time, which I don't, like I'm not counting that. So my plan is one class will just be in the mornings for one and a half hours, Monday to Friday. And that's the only time I can read that book, Monday to Friday for that class. Now, remember, I'm trying to read five books in two weeks, maybe six books. The second semester, it's actually six books, but two of them are graphic novels. So, yes, I do think that I'm going to finish these books. However, I mean, I might finish them faster than I think I will, but also an hour and a half of reading is not that much. Even if I'm listening to an audiobook on two times speed, that only gets me through three hours. And guys, these books that I have chosen to read are long. Most of them are not just over 400, but over 600 pages for most of the books that I am reading in my 50 before 50. So I'm so glad I could get those long books in these classes. So what I have done is I've got my all the class, class times in this jar. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. So one class is going to be all of the lunchtime studies and the study times on the weekends because my weekends are not as stable as the rest of the time. And so I won't always get to do it. But that means that one class is seven and a half hours for the week. And then another class that's going to include the lunch and the study times, that's 10 hours in the week to listen to it. Or I mean to read it. And then again, this PM class will be seven hours. And then the night is being divided up into two different classes. One of them is eight hours worth because it's these four days. I'm actually going to change the color so that we know what we're looking at. So these four days is one class. And then these three days is another class. So that's only going to be six hours. So let's hope that my longer books are in the longer class periods, which reminds me, I want to also fix this. Okay, so now the classes are actually color coordinated with the one they go with. I'm going to get my face over here to the side. And our classes are written on this paper just the same way that I told them to you. So Blood Fury is one. Kingdom of Gods is number two. The Twelve is number three. Body of Evidence is number four. And Hollow of Fear is number five. So we're going to spin and see which class we're drawing for first. So it looks like it's going to be number one. So for Blood Fury, I'm just going to pour it out in my hand. And I got three of them here. I'm going to put two of them back. And this class is going to be night class number two. And that might actually be okay because, because this is the shortest one. Okay, so I have that one entered where I'm going to be reading it in the evenings, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, in the nighttime, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so let's go over 
and let's see let me refresh so it'll start spinning it again okay so here we go second class number two i should have just gone in order this is ridiculous okay kingdom of gods is number two <laughs> okay and it is going to be let me this one oh this one's kind of hard to get undone a.m so every morning from 6 to 7 30 that means i gotta get up earlier because usually i get up at 7 30 so i decided to set me a really early morning class so that i would get up and read so i'm gonna be reading kingdom of gods this one's long okay so there we go that one's all in now next class again let me refresh please don't land on number three it's gonna land on number three i'm sure <laughs> okay well who why did i even spin anyway this is for the 12. this is one of the longest ones i have so let's see here we go pm okay so this one's gonna be in the in the afternoon Okay, so there we go. That one's in. And now I can't believe we have two left. Okay, let's see if we can get it to land on five. Nope. <laughs> That's so funny that I tried to make it random and it did it anyway. So we have two left in here. I'm just got, I have them both in my hand. I'm just going to grab one out. Um, wait, are they wrapped up together? They are wrapped up together. Okay, this is for number four, lunch, and then the study times. I dropped it. And so number five then is the first nighttime one. So body of evidence is for the lunch and the study times. And then hollow of fear is for the second or the first night class. Okay, so here it is. The first two weeks of September, this is going to be my reading schedule. And not the first two weeks, from the first to the 14th. So it will be two weeks but September 1st is on a Friday. So starting on Friday for the next two weeks, that is what I'm going to be reading. And then on the 15th, we're going to switch to the next one and I'm going to show you what it is. So I'm right now just going to copy this and I'm going to, I'm going to paste it right next to it. So this one over here, let me actually, because I need to do this. This is me just being weird. But I'm going to write semester one at the top of this one. And then I have to center it like, and I'll make it bigger and do a bunch of stuff later. But then this right here, just so you guys can see it better, I'm going to put semester two over here. Oh, I literally said semester three. Okay. And then of course I will switch them after we do this and I'll have semester two at the front. So I'm going to, just because I want to, use different colors than I did on the other semester. And I'm not going to erase these until I know what's going there, but I put my sheets back in here, all my papers. And so now we're going to redo this and we will maybe this time not get them in a row i'm going to shuffle them there we go they're all shuffled now they don't exactly say one two three four five so let's see what the first class is i didn't even tell you what we were reading oh my gosh let me go do that but then we'll come back and do number two here are the requirements for the second semester now this time english 10 20 is read a new author to you and i am reading the lady of crows which is one of the 50 before 50 that I've never read from before. The next one says, select one from the Fine Arts and Humanities Literary sub Literature subcategory. And I am doing, read a hyped book. And I am reading the Murderbot novella, the next Murderbot, Murderbot book called Rogue Protocol. And I'm considering this to be a hyped book because the Murderbot series as a whole is hyped. So that is what I'm counting that as. Then for the visual and performing arts, I am doing art 10, 11, 10, read a graphic novel or manga. And I actually have two graphic novels on my 50 before 50 list. So I'm reading 
both Heart Stopper and Earth Divers. So whatever time I have scheduled for this class, I'm going to read first Heart Stopper and then just immediately move over to Earth Divers during that period and read two graphic novels. Then for down here in the behavioral and science, social science category, I am doing Anthology 1500, Read a Book from a Culture Other Than Your Own, and I am reading A Parable of the Talents. Then finally, the last one is an intermediate foreign language. Read a book from an author that is from a different country than you, and I am reading Children of Time. So... Now that we have all those, number two is Rogue Protocol. That is the Murderbot book. So let's see when we're going to be doing the Murderbot. This one is not very long, so I'm okay with it being one of the shorter ones. Although I do have graphic novels on here, and that one can be a shorter one. Anyway, we have Night 2. Night Class Part 2, which is good because that is like the shortest one that we have on here. Okay, so that one is all in here and ready to go. Now, let's see what the next one is going to be. Let me shuffle them again and spin. Who knows? I mean, we already didn't get number one, so I guess we won this time. Anyway. Oh, it looks like number five. That is Children of Time. This one is very long, so I would really like a something to help me. That was loud, too. Okay, so let's see. I mean, I've already gotten the shortest one off the list, but I wouldn't mind like a lunchtime or something. That would be good. This one is night one, the night class part one. So that's okay. That's still eight hours a week. Okay, so I've got that done. That's our night classes. Now we have three more, shuffle and spin. One, three, and four. I was going to say they're still in order, but they're not. Um, it looks like it's going to be number four. This is Parable of the Talents. So this book is not super long. It's probably medium length, I guess. So, I mean, all we have left are some pretty long times, so I guess I'm fine with whatever. Now I'm worried, though, that the uh, graphic novel is going to end up being a long time. This is AM, so we still haven't gotten the longest time, <laughs> so I hope that's not going to be the graphic novels. That'll be funny. Okay, so Parable of the Talents. Okay, so we only have two left. Let's see which one is next. Oh. It's going to be number three, which is the Heart Stoppers. So I've got two of them right here. This one's going to be number three. So that is going to be PM, which means the longest is saved for The Lady of Crows, which I also think is a pretty short book. But that one is the lunch and the study times. Okay, so let me get that entered in here. Okay, so that is my schedule for the second half of September. So the first two weeks of September, I'm doing these. The last two weeks of September, I'm doing these. And that will actually put me on the 29th. Now, if I finish any of these books, I can use that class time to read an earlier book. So let's say the Kingdom of Gods book right here. I don't finish like the first week, but I finished Body of Evidence in the first week. So I can use these Body of Evidence times for the Kingdom of Gods, but I can't use the Body of Evidence time for Parable of the Talents or something. It has to be a class in that semester or in the previous semester. If I get over here and I finish Heartstopper really quickly and, and Earth Divers, I can read something from the first semester that I'm still trying to complete or make up. The main thing that I want to do with this is slow down my reading. So if it takes me longer than the two weeks to read a book, like that is amazing to me that that's that it would take me more than two weeks to read a book. So even if it does take a long time for me to finish them, I am okay with that. These rules were made up by me as far as like doing one semester in two weeks and the next semester in two weeks. So it's just strictly to help me slow down. And so I hope this will still work. I am planning to do vlogs in the month of September and just let you guys know like where I've gotten and how far I've gotten or whatever. And I'm thinking about doing daily check-ins in the mornings to just mark down like how far I've gotten, have gotten or where I went, which reminds me, I want to show you guys something. I have these sheets of cardstock and they're just regular sheets like this of this 
cardstock and they're all different kinds of patterns and all different things. So there's one of them and this is what it looked like. Well, it didn't have this on it, so it just looked like this. And I like it that it's like shiny and everything. Anyway, I folded it in half. Well, first I drew a bunch of lines on the inside of it. Then I folded it in half. And as you can see, I put the a cover picture of the book and Golden Sun up at the top, or I wrote the title up there. And what I'm planning to do, I'm not using this as a bookmark because I don't have physical copies of any of the books that I'm reading except for Heartstopper. So I don't need bookmarks. But I loved the idea that I saw Amy doing, and not just Amy, but they were making bookmarks and keeping up with how many pages they read in each class they were in. So... I made this as like an experiment to try out because I'm about to start reading Golden Sun and I wanted to be able to write my thoughts in here and not just like the page numbers. And then I can put this in my reading journal. I can just stick the back part to my reading journal and it'll be in there with a little flap telling me about this book and what I thought about it. So I like that idea, but what I think I might do for my school schedule is actually cut this in half and on the front half, I'll do it like this, where I put a copy of the cover. But then on the back side of it, I will have a space where I can just write the pages that I read during that session of class or something. I haven't decided how it's going to go yet. But if you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear about them. I cannot wait to get going on this and get started. I still have over a week before I can even start reading these books, but... I can't wait. I'm so glad that I was able to get all 11 books on there that I drew in my 50 before 50. If you saw that video, I was able to get all 11 on there and I'm so happy about it. There are other books that I'm going to read in September, but nothing that is planned. It is completely whatever I want to do. And I can only read those books outside of my class time. So that I think is going to do it. I think I have explained everything that I wanted to do. I cannot wait to get going with this. I'm so excited. I would love to hear all of your thoughts down below. What do you want in September as far as like how I am going to be tracking this or keeping up with it or whatever? I thought about doing some little short check-ins, but I never do shorts. I mean, I've tried to do them in the past. I'm just, I'm not good at them, I feel like. So anyway, um, what what would you like to see or what would be a good way you think for me to keep up with everything that I'm doing? I mean, I thought about doing like one giant vlog for the first semester, the first two weeks, and then one vlog for the second semester and the second two weeks. But I feel like they would have to be spoiler discussions of all the books because I don't know how I would say, well, I can't tell you what happened in this one. So, I mean, I could do that. I could be like, I like where this is going or I don't like where it's going or whatever. I could totally do that. So anyway, that is going to do it for this one. I cannot wait. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.